Well, good morning, everybody. It's Bart Katie here, and I hope you're having a wonderful July 1st. Happy Canada Day to all of our Canadian members in our group, and very soon, happy Independence Day to all of our U.S. members in our group. It's going to be a very busy week for so many of us, and it marks the midway point for all of us for this year in our journeys. And I thought this would be a really good time to visit with each other and check in a little bit on what's been going on so far uh, during the first six months of the year. Uh, I think it's always good to reflect on progress being made or uh, challenges that need to be met. And this is a really good uh point in time to do just that. It's a little bit cool here in West Virginia today, which is quite nice after all of the heat that we've been experiencing of late. Uh, one thing for sure, uh, we all talk about the weather, but none of us can do very much about it. Unlike our weight loss journey, we uh, which we do have more control of, which is a very good thing. What I'd like to sort of review with you briefly right now is the survey uh, that uh, we did within our group uh, a short while ago, about four weeks ago, uh, concerning uh, your thoughts on how the uh, group was functioning and your ideas on how to do some different things to uh, engage more people, to make it more relevant. Uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, I have collected all the responses that came in during this period of time and have had a chance to review them and analyze them. And I thought it would be uh, helpful uh, to just let you know what, in general, most people said. Uh, in general, everybody seems to like the Monday check-in, which is good. And so uh, for the time being, anyway, uh, we will definitely be continuing that. Uh, most everyone seems basically uh, happy with the group, and uh, that's always uh, wonderful to know that you all, uh, from your post, I can tell it every single day, are getting something out of it and are certainly willing to give back to the group and help and support each other's journeys, which is the whole reason for us being here together is to find a way to get a little bit of extra support throughout the week uh, because sometimes things come up and our chapter meeting may be several days away and we um, can go, excuse me. <coughs> That's the problem <clears throat> when you do these things live. I don't know where that frog of my throat came from, but he certainly wanted to croak there for a minute. Uh, at any rate, uh, getting the extra support when we need it uh, in a timely fashion is really essential to continuing forward in our progress. Uh, we, know, we know we don't always have to tough it out alone, that there's help just around the, the corner. Uh, uh, I asked uh, a few questions there, and uh, one of the things that uh, popped up was uh, just the subject of the Monday morning check-in itself, and some uh, few, uh, a few people, not a lot, it was less than 7% of those who responded, felt the check-in was a little too long, and I can certainly understand that. Uh, because a lot of us uh, have limited time available during our chapter meetings to put things in. And some of you like to share this occasionally when it's relevant to your group at your chapter meeting. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't know exactly what to do about it because nobody gave me a suggested timeline uh, that was ideal. They generally run between uh, 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, so, you know, should it skew more to 15 minutes? Uh, that's a lot to do, but uh, I would certainly try to focus more on that if it would be helpful uh, to uh, the percentage of you that feel that 
the message is a little too long, another option might be to break it up into segments and, you know, not play it all at one meeting. Um, but it's something definitely we'll think about. Uh, a lot of you uh, suggested maybe discussing some other topics from time to time. And I wasn't sure if you meant I should do that. Uh, if you, because this is our group, it's not my group. Uh, if you all wanted to bring in other topics uh, that were relevant to our weight loss journey uh, to share, uh, I know some of you are doing that right now, and it's so much appreciated. Uh, and then other features that you might want to see. Uh, here are some of the ideas, uh, and not everybody responded with specifics. They, you know, responded in general, but not to specifics. And uh, well, you one of the things uh, they came up was uh, programs, uh, you know, ideas uh, on programs. And if you'll notice, one of our members right now is sharing a summer program series that is being pulled from the Tops magazine. And uh, I've not noticed very many people commenting or even watching the program. Uh, and she's doing a wonderful job and showing us how we can use materials Tops sends to us um, to develop uh, programs that are are custom tailored to our chapters. Uh, they don't have to be exactly as written in the Tops magazine. Uh, we can take those and adapt them to fit our particular chapter situation and interest in that period of time. Uh, some of you uh, suggested uh, doing more contests and very often we'll see contests uh, within our group that people are finding work well for them and they will different people will sh share different ideas on how they tailor the contest again to fit their specific chapter and their specific chapter's needs uh you know very often that involves including cops for the chapters that have people who have reached their goal weight and are maintaining that goal weight as cops uh, in the contest itself. So they also have uh, incentives that they can uh, work toward within the contest framework. Um, bear in mind your local chapter contest rules are up to you all to decide uh, as long as they don't go against TOPS rules. Um, in custom tailoring any contest to fit your needs, uh, you can have uh, attendance requirements for your contest. For one example, if uh, your chapter feels that uh, that's something that they need to focus on and getting more members out and staying for the meetings. Uh, that's, you know, a very good thing. You could certainly include things like uh, bringing in new members in some of your contests uh, to uh, help you in uh, meeting uh, our wonderful challenge of 4 and 24 uh, that several of you have already uh uh, reported that you have completed uh, uh, that you've gotten four new members already in the first six months of 2024. Are you going to uh, get four more new members in the second six months of 2024? I think that would be absolutely fabulous if we did. You know, we get uh, new people in and they help re-energize and reinvigorate uh, our efforts uh, because this is a lifetime commitment. Uh, managing weight is uh, something that takes constant vigilance, not just for a 
few weeks or a few months. Uh, it really is a lifetime commitment that we're making here and uh, getting fresh eyes and fresh ideas that come with those fresh eyes and enthusiasm and in spirit of these new people uh, is certainly helpful in keeping our spirits up as we continue doing uh, what needs to be done to continue on this journey to living our healthiest and best lives. Um, uh, there were suggestions to share empowering stories, and that that's a wonderful thing to do. And uh, if you uh, want to share your story sometime, you know, that could, you don't know who you're going to reach when you share your journey. That might be a person listening or reading who says, she's just like me. He's just like me. They understand where I'm coming from. If they can do this, so can I. Uh, wonderful testimonials of members who have been there, done that, are continuing to do that, and understand what effort it takes to be able to successfully uh, manage one's weight through a period of years. And those of you who have been cops for so many years, it's always so thrilling to see your accomplishments uh, as you continue your journey and your health is improved by that journey that you have been on. Uh, you just never know who will need to hear your words when you're sharing. Uh, other speakers uh, were suggested by a few, but there were no particular ideas on who those people might be. Uh, we have to be very careful, you know, if we're uh, sharing uh, someone else's work that it's vetted and uh, does uh, meet the requirements uh, of accuracy and uh, no misinformation. So that was a little concern to me as to how we would uh, manage to do that. And I'm sharing this with you because these were questions that came up when I'm reading what you were sharing with me. Uh, ideas for getting new members. Uh, those of you who have been doing more of that, share your ideas. What did you do? How did you bring those people forward? Uh, were you using your good example as an incentive to attract other people? Word of mouth is still one of our most powerful ways of a of attracting other people to our groups. Uh, you know, what are they being met with when they come through the doors? Uh, are they coming with a friend who has been successful in TOPS? Are they meeting other people that are encouraged and working toward the goals that our chapters set for ourselves, which is healthy weight loss and maintenance, and living our healthiest lives in all aspects every single day. Um, you know, sharing your ideas is really, really powerful. Uh, some type of a midweek check-in was suggested uh, in addition to the Monday check-in where maybe people uh, just come together and uh, do an update on how they're doing in their journey. Uh, a review of the different approaches to weight loss, because I see in here that, you know, there are many of us who are following different paths re recommended by our doctors. And that's really important to understand that no two journeys are going to look exactly alike. Uh, and it's, you know, not a place to be judgmental. It's a place to be supportive. What is important is that we have gone to our health care professionals and they have given us uh, their best advice, given our health concerns and conditions on what we best can do to maintain our health as we continue the journey. Uh, 
there's been some discussion about virtual chapters and where they fit into the framework of uh, the TOPS award and recognition system. And our field staff are there for us to really explain these things to us. And I know if you attend uh, your uh, field staff sponsored uh, meetings within your area, they would be happy to discuss uh, virtual chapters. Uh, at length with those people who, for whatever circumstances, may be considering that as an option at this point in time. Uh, you know, very often uh, our life circumstances change uh, for a variety of reasons, including things like illness, transportation avail availability, mobility issues, uh, uh, lack of a nearby chapter uh, resulting from a relocation of some kind. Uh, so certainly have that conversation with your field staff. The same way with TOPS rules and uh, TOPS policies. Uh, you know, that's our group is a support group for the weight loss, not for the rules and policies. And again, we reach out to our field staff for that type of information uh, so that it's accurate and you get the full recognition and acknowledgement of all your efforts within that framework as that aspect of TOPS is really encouraging. Uh, if you'll look at all the posts from our Recognition Day events that have been coming into the group on a regular basis, you will notice that uh, uh, all of these people have been acknowledged for those accomplishments based on those rules and policies. Uh, you'll also notice that, you know, different areas may at their recognition of events honor some different things. They aren't international awards, but they are awards given by the coordinator often within the area that uh, are very important to acknowledging within the area great effort and great success. And those are answers you get from your field staff. Uh, we tend to focus much more on uh, ind individual efforts uh, for ourselves and keeping everyone moving forward and keeping the chapter centered on the reason all of us joined TOPS to begin with, which was basically uh, to try to get some help with losing uh, weight in a healthy fashion and maintaining a healthy weight at whatever level our uh, healthcare professionals feel is appropriate. Uh, change is uh, the only constant in life and things change day to day. And so very often we may need to check in with our group as our life circumstances changes to get some help, some suggestions, maybe some coping techniques that we hadn't thought of for a while uh, when we hit a rough patch for whatever reason. Um, many of us are dealing with some very uncomfortable changes right now. And uh, we are going to need to reach out and uh get ideas for refocusing our efforts, uh, which is, again, a wonderful quality that being in our group uh, provides. Uh, there's always many people willing to help encourage, but not judge. Uh, what works for one person may not work for somebody else and vice versa. Uh, one size does not fit all when it comes to de determining uh, what you can best do to help yourself move forward. With that in mind, since this is uh, the start of the second half of the year, if you are struggling, uh, have you been on our way, our website lately and just looked at things that might be helpful to you? 
Are you aware there is a five-week plan on our website that has little videos with it? Uh, they're about 15 minutes long that deal with the different aspects of losing weight. Just so it's a touch point for a restart. Uh, are you tracking food? Are you jotting down what you eat? Uh, are you focusing on a plan that suits you rather than trying to fit yourself into some type of plan that doesn't suit or maybe uh, counterindicated because of some health reasons? Are you eating foods you enjoy? Because you can choose healthy food that you actually enjoy eating. And are you, you tracking to see how, you know, how you're accomplishing this? Uh, have you had that conversation with your doctor? Uh, again, there's a little short video that deals with just tracking food. Uh, Several of you have posted things like, uh, if you bite it, write it. Well, I will add to that, that whether you write it down or not, your body's going to count everything that goes in your mouth and you swallow. It's going to count it. And it does so with great accuracy, uh, whether you've chosen to measure anything or not, your body is analyzing and processing and dealing with it, which brings you to another point when it comes to uh, good nutrition. And, you know, that has to do with portion size. You know, are you taking the time to weigh and measure what you're eating or are you just guesstimating? Well, that looks like a half a cup. Well, my experience with my kids always was if they liked it, a half a cup was Herkin huge. Uh, and if they didn't like it, I can re still remember one of my boys disliked green beans intensely. And his portion size for green beans when I fixed those for the table was one green bean. You, know, you figure it out. So are you accurately tracking the portion size that you should be eating? Uh, you know, these are level measure, measures, not rounded uh, heaping spoons or piled up as high as you can get it on the plate? Uh, are you finding ways to stay active that you will continue that uh, you can do and get stronger as you do and maybe even increase? Uh, that's def definitely something to think about. Are you dealing with things like uh, your flexibility, your balance, your strength? your endurance, uh, all these are aspects of staying active and being able to do the things you want to do at every stage in your life uh, without hurting yourself in the process. Uh, are you starting slow enough so that you don't make yourself so sh sore that you don't want to ever do that activity again. You know, sometimes we need to be a little gentler with ourselves, but still look at as look at it as growing in all these areas as we do more through time. That's so important. And then uh, another thing uh, that I think we always need to have acknowledged either by others or by ourselves, ideally by both, are our victories that we experience along the way. Uh, a number on a scale may be one type of victory, uh, but some of us play scale games uh, where we look at clothing or not eating for a day or two to uh, alter that number in a way that has nothing to do with actually healthily managing a strong weight. Uh, you know, it's not so much the number itself. It's what the number represents in terms of our getting healthier. Um, 
And I just throw that out there because I've seen people weigh their clothing like that means that they lost weight on their body. And we all know <laughs> that's not the case at all. Not e even drinking fluid until you get weighed in, that has nothing to do with losing any type of excess weight that may need to be uh, looked at as we move forward so that we are our healthiest selves. And then there are all the wonderful non-scale victories that uh we should be acknowledging and celebrating every day. Even a victory in choice as to whether we chose to do something or not do something uh, is important to acknowledge because it's a measure of progress. Uh, having a good attitude is a measure of progress, uh, which brings us right into the whole aspect of self-care. Are we nurturing our, not only our bodies, but our spirits. Uh, these five weekly videos available on the TOPS website cover all of this uh, in a way that it can help us revisit these aspects of our journey and encourage us to start over to begin again, to give back to basics, uh, to look at where we really want to go in our journey and re-examine the why that we first joined our chapters. I think it's very important that we look at the reason why not only did we start the journey, but why we continue the journey day by day and what help we need along that way to uh, maximize our, the best results we can from the efforts that we're making. Uh, very often people will use sort of a tiered approach, uh, almost like a pyramid approach, uh, when it comes to uh, effective weight management and dealing with obesity, which is a chronic condition. Uh, and, you know, the nutrition and the activity are sort of at a baseline there, you know, eat healthy, keep moving. Uh, that's sort of where we began the journey with with that. Then get education on what that means. Get some professional advice on what it may mean for you because it may mean a quite different journey for each of us when we sit down and compare what's going on. And then to me, one of the critical elements is what we do at TOPS and, and that's supporting each other. How can I give the best support? Am I listening to what someone is telling me they need to help them in their journey? Or am I thinking I know what they need? Because you'll get two different answers there. Uh, listening is one of the most powerful tools we have when it comes to helping others. Let them articulate how we can best help them. And vice versa, are we articulating what we need to be best help us? Are we saying, this is an area of concern for me. I need your help. You seem to have a handle on this. Give me some tips that you found useful for yourself. And I can run them past my doc and make sure it's safe for me to do it. Uh, I'm not asking you to give me expert advice. I'm asking your support in the journey because you seem to have found the way. Uh, am I doing that or I'm sitting back thinking, well, you're supposed to help me, but I'm not going to tell you how or what I need. You know, we have to be communicative with each other within our meetings in order to be successful. And then if, sometimes uh, the medication may be needed as we move forward. Uh, sometimes surgery may be a better offer. Uh, 
option to consider. Uh, these are things our healthcare professionals will be able to determine for us, have conversations with us about it, and decide if or if not, those options should be placed on the table. But Whatever it is, we can offer support and encouragement in this very difficult challenge. Uh, unlike many uh, things that we deal with in life, obesity is chronic. Uh, it wants to reappear even after years of successful uh, maintenance. Uh, it will want to rear uh up again and reassert the uh, damages that it can do to your body systems. Uh, so continuing to be vigilant, uh, continuing to do a check-in with yourself like now on this start of the second half of our journey in 2024 um, is definitely something we need to be constantly uh, aware can occur at any point in time. Uh, so let's make this today a day of celebrating all we've learned during this time we have shared together with each other and refocus our efforts in, and energies on continuing this journey with the help and support of our friends and tops and uh, our families uh, and our healthcare teams throughout. Uh, I think we've got a really great system here. I think uh, celebrating uh, Today and throughout this next week is a wonderful thing to do. Uh, does it mean celebrating with eating a whole bunch of food? Yeah. Uh, and eat, what, eat something special that you like. I know for myself, uh, we're doing corn on the cob on uh, our holiday here. Uh, it's something usually I only have on the 4th of July. Uh one one day out of one year of 365 days, uh, certainly I can have corn on the cob. Uh, there is no food and tops that you cannot enjoy in moderation and with planning. Uh, don't have a whole bunch of no-nos in your life. Fill your life with yeses, with positivity and smiles. Go out there and have an awesome, awesome day. Talk to you later. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.